Hi everyone, my name is Rajesh and this video is going to be a little bit special. In all our videos so far, what we have been looking into is either the technicalities of the ERP. So what is ERP? What are the components of ERP? Who are going to be the parties in an implementation project? What is implementation? What is support? What are the project phases? All of that. Or we have been looking at the consulting part about the ERP which is something like how to become a good consultant or what are the top five qualities of consultant and so on and so forth. Now talking about my background, I'm a chartered accountant by qualification. And as I have mentioned in one of my previous videos, uh, I have roughly around eight to nine years of experience in the ERP consulting field. To be specific, I'm an Oracle cloud financial consultant. So if you have watched all our earlier videos, then you guys know that we have been mainly talking about Oracle SAP or Microsoft Dynamics 365 as the tier one ERPs in the global ERP market. So out of those tier one ERPs, I myself have been doing the consultancy for Oracle cloud ERP. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to learn the Oracle cloud for free. Yes, you heard it right. I'm going to tell you how to learn Oracle cloud absolutely for free. Obviously, this free training may not make you a complete Oracle Cloud ERP consultant or it may not make you employable. So it may not give you the job. But at least if you are a fresher graduate, maybe you are coming from certain functional background like a chartered accountancy, MBA finance, MBA in marketing, supply chain management, human capital management or any of the functional background. Or on the other hand, if you are a techie, like you are an engineer, coder, developer, B-Tech or uh, let's say MCA graduate and so on and so forth. In all of these cases, if you are a fresher graduate and if you are looking to build a career in Oracle Cloud ERP to be specific, then it is must for you to explore these free resources that are available out on the internet. So with that, let's begin. Now on Google, I'm simply going to type learn Oracle for free. And the first result that you get is something called education.oracle.com. Now all of these software vendors, which are Oracle, SAP or Microsoft Dynamics, they all have their free learning platforms where they provide you the glimpse in their products. So in this video, we are going to explore about the Oracle, but maybe on our next videos, we will definitely be exploring about similar free content available out on the internet for SAP or for Microsoft Dynamics 365 and so on and so forth. So let's begin to see what all free content is available on education.oracle.com. So once you come on this site, you have this one section called training or rather that's a homepage. And over here, you have got some categories or some learning areas or different functions of the product. So if we look at entire offerings of Oracle, as we have seen in one of our previous videos, they are divided into, let's say the SaaS, which is software as a service, then a uh, pass and then certain infrastructure related services and so on and so forth. So if you are somebody who is aspiring to become a functional consultant, then this particular section, which is SaaS, that is for you. So human capital management and talent management is both related to the HCM or HRMS field. Enterprise resource planning, like Oracle classifies financials under this particular bit, enterprise resource planning. So if you are a finance graduate, then this is something for you. If you are an expert in supply chain management or procurement, then these two blocks are sort of useful for you. And again, uh, as a finance graduate, you can also explore the career in this particular block, which is called enterprise performance management. We'll see all of them one by one. So I'm not touching on the other blocks because those are very niche or specialized kind of areas. And down below, we have platform as a service. So if you are an engineer or if you are uh, a techie, then this OCI, which is infrastructure as a service or Oracle cloud infrastructure or platform as a service in which you have application development, MySQL, Java, database, and so on and so forth. So if you are techie, then these sections may be for you. So coming back, firstly, let us explore enterprise resource planning area. So in this enterprise resource planning area, you have all of these different learning paths that are available. So Oracle Cloud Overview is there, onboarding and planning essentials for Oracle Cloud applications is there. 
And these are all the financial modules like general ledger, fixed asset, receivables and collections, payables, expenses and so on and so forth. And then there are certain reporting tools related videos which are business intelligence explorer. And then there are certain specialized modules like accounting, hub, cloud service and project management. So all of these come under the ERP as per the Oracle's terminology that they use. So once you learn all of these things, you will also be able to earn the Oracle Learning Explorer badge, which you can share to your LinkedIn or which you can share to other social networking sites. And that is something that will as such uh, gain you a little bit of upper age. Uh, if you are appearing for any interview as a fresher after going through this and after earning this Oracle Learning Explorer badge. So let's click on start learning for free. And this will redirect you to mylearn.oracle.com. So this is a specialized learning portal, which they call is customizable for each and everyone. Now, one of the important features on this page of mylearn.oracle.com is the filters that are provided out there. Now you will see n number of different courses over here under each of those functional areas, which are like ERP or supply chain management, procurement, human capital management, and so on and so forth. However, obviously not all of them are free. So if you just want to see which are the free areas, you have got that filter over here in the type. So let's just select the free courses that are available. So once you select this particular filter, it will only filter out the free courses that are available. So this one, which is onboarding and planning essentials for Oracle cloud application. This one comes ideally under the HCM or human capital management functional area. So let's skip that for now. And for the finance graduates, this is something that's the most uh, interesting areas. One is general ledger explorer. So this is two hours and 29 minutes course. Then there is payable explorer expenses explorer. If you just want to see what all things are included in this, you can just click on this and then you will get to know the detailed contents in that particular learning path. So on this page, you can see that this learning path cover. So first of all, it will show that this is applicable for whom. So this is applicable for accountants and accounting managers. So let's say that if you are somebody who is working as an accountant or accounting manager, in one of the organizations which happens to use Oracle, then in that case, this is something which may be applicable or interesting for you. Then this is also applicable for financial analysts and CFOs. This is for implementers, which is something you can resonate to. Like most of you who will be watching this video are planning to become consultants. So in that case, this is something that's applicable for you. Then it is also for administrators and power users, which are nothing but like different roles or different types of users in an organization. And then it will also tell you what all things this path includes, which is like general ledger overview, creating the journal entries in Oracle, inquiring the balances, intercompany transactions, account reconciliation, period close, budgets and financial reporting. So all of these are the components and all of them are given as different modules or different components over here along with the duration and your progress percentage that is written over here. And if you scroll down, it will show that once you have completed this particular course and once you have completed this assessment, then you will earn this particular badge, which is Oracle Learning Explorer for Oracle ERP Cloud General Ledger. This badge you will be earning and you will be able to share it over the social media. So once you click on this, you will be redirected to the player page. However, we have still not logged in. So that step is still pending. So once you click on play, it will ask you if you are already an user. Uh, if yes, then you can basically sign in or you can create a free account by giving your normal email ID. So let's do that. So I have completed all the fields in this particular form and then let me click on create account. Once you do that, you will have this particular dialog box saying uh, a verification email has been sent to your email address. So let me just open and see that. So you'll see an email like this on which you can click on verify email address. And then once your account is verified, you can simply start using it from your homepage. So if again you click on start learning for free, you'll again come to this page. And once we click on any particular component, you will again be redirected to a player page. And here this time, since you already have created your account, you can directly click on sign in. 
and it will sort of redirect you to the Oracle single sign on page on which let me just sign in. And once you sign in, you will hopefully be redirected on that same player page again. Let's see. Sometimes you will also see this particular terms and condition pop up, which you do not have any other means than to accept or to click on I agree. And then you'll be able to play these videos. So this is four and a half minute video. So here you can change the speed and all other tools of video player are available over there. That's not our focus area. So coming back, if I again, let's say reload this page and I select the free as one of the filtering criteria, then we have just seen this general ledger explorer, which is around two and a half hour learning path. We also saw what are the contents that are available. Similarly, if we go to payables explorer, then this is something that will have all the content related to the accounts payable function in the business, which basically relates to recording of vendor invoice. So it covers payable overview, supplier master overview, uh, invoices like recording the vendor invoices, then processing the vendor payments and then the reports. Similarly, if we look at expense explorer, then this is something that will be related to the employee expense module in Oracle Cloud Financial Suite, which relate to submission of the reimbursable expenses by the employees. So it will give you the expense overview. It will give you certain reports overview around the expenses. How do we audit the expenses in Oracle Cloud and what exactly are the expense reimbursement and so on and so forth. So all of these training paths will have the Explorer badge that you will be earning after clearing the assessment and after going through the entire training path. So from the financials perspective, you have general ledger explorer, payable explorer, expenses explorer. Again, if you want to learn certain advanced implementation topics, you also have around two and a half hours course. However, I don't recommend you to go through these advanced courses at the moment. It is fine if you are new to financial cloud application, then you can just limit yourself to these courses. And then you also have certain other courses over here which are related to, let me just click on again. So you have got the fixed asset explorer. So let's see what all things are there. So in the fixed asset explorer, you have, you'll get the fixed asset overview, uh, creating the asset addition. So if you are adding an asset into Oracle cloud, how exactly you do that? What all different transactions are related to the asset maintenance, for example, revaluation and uh, recategorizing the asset and so on and so forth about the retirement about the leased assets manage asset accounting how exactly the accounting is taken care of and then the reporting part in the fixed asset module similarly you also have something called receivables and collections explorer which is more about the o2c cycle or order to cash cycle or the sales cycle wherein let's say if you are selling some goods and services then how do you exactly record your customers. So if you look at what it covers, it covers the overview. It covers how do we manage the customer bills or customer invoices. Then how do we manage the customer payments, which is nothing but the receipts or the monies received from customers. And then how do we exactly manage the customer account balances in which it will be covered, like how the account statements are generated and so on and so forth. And then your collections related strategies. So in many organizations, what happens is uh, if they are especially the B2C kind of organization, business to customer kind of organizations, then collections plays an important role. Like, you know, you might need to do certain channelized efforts in order to collect the dues from your customers. So all of that is covered ideally in this collection work area. Post that you also have something called accounting hub explorer and business intelligence explorer, which are again, uh, niche topics, which you can go through. Uh, however, if you are a beginner again, I will say that you can also limit your exploration till receivables, fixed asset and coming back expense payables and general ledger. So this entire functional area, which is enterprise resource planning is something that you can explore. You have got almost 20 to 25 hours of free learning material from Oracle. You can watch that. Plus you can also attempt certain assessment tests that are there. And then you can earn these explorer badges for all of these modules or all of these functional areas. Coming back, if you are somebody who is, let's say a supply chain management or a procurement domain expert, 
then you have all of these areas over here so in the supply chain management now i'm not going into detailed uh, explanation or detailed point by point overview for all the supply chain management procurement and human capital management but then if you are scm expert then you have to look at these two blocks which are supply chain management and procurement which cover supply planning cost management demand management order management uh, your inventory, your warehouse management, transportation management, manufacturing and so on and so forth. Similarly, the procurement covers self-service procurement or creating the purchase order and so on and so forth. So all of those things are covered in this. Uh, on the other hand, if you are somebody who is expert in human capital management or if you have earned your MBA in human capital management and so on and so forth, then this is something which is these two blocks are something which are sort of interesting to you. So the human capital management covers your global HR, then global payroll, then compensation, then absence management, benefits management, time and labor, and uh, your integration with certain other third party services. Similarly, this talent management is a separate product of Oracle, which covers your goal setting and performance management. So uh, any organization has to do certain performance management reviews, appraisal exercises for their workforce. So all of that is typically covered in this talent management suite of products. So all of this is sort of free learning that is available at education.oracle.com. Obviously there are a lot of paid courses that are also available on this particular uh, portal, the same portal. However, the utility of those paid courses is something which is or which may be questionable. Now, again, obviously I'm not doubting the quality of all of that. So just as a curiosity, I'm just going to show you like how exactly these paid courses are hosted or what are the sort of the prices. So if you let's say want to become uh, an expert or let's say if you want to get the complete course for Oracle Financials Cloud or Supply Chain Management Cloud and so on and so forth, then this also follows the similar learning path or this also gives you the overview about like what all things are covered uh, in this entire path and so on and so forth. If you click on this player, it will show that this is a paid course and you need to be a subscriber to in order to watch this particular course. And I will end this video just by showing you the price of this particular course. So if you hit the buy now button, it will redirect you to the price page. And there you go. So the price for this particular course is just 3,76,000 rupees for one year for per user. And that's where I mentioned to you that the utility is quite doubtful because even after spending 3,76,000 rupees in order to get this entire course and watching this complete course of 20 hours or 50 hours or whatever duration it is, you will become expert in the product. However, that does not necessarily mean that you will also become a good consultant or you will for sure 100% become employable as Oracle Cloud Fresher Consultant. That's not assured. That's not for sure. Even if you spend that much of amount. Thank you everyone for watching this video. With the advent of cloud, the ERP solutions are becoming more and more affordable. And that's where even the small and mid scale organizations are increasingly opting for ERP softwares. What it means for us is ERP consulting as a career option is now more lucrative than ever. So if you are a fresher finance, commerce and management graduate, and want to build your career in the ERP consulting industry, then go visit www.yourerpcoach.com and hit that inquire button right now.